Hello everyone. Hope you're well and things are going great with you. I have a wonderful news for you. That is, I bought an underwater camera for me. So I can finally make amazing content for ocean stories. Ever since I started diving, I dreamed about having my own camera. So today's video is about out of the choices I had, why I picked an Olympus TG6 as my first underwater camera. This video is all about the simple evaluation I did based on the support I got from my diving buddies who use underwater cameras. Before we move on, if you haven't subscribed to Ocean Stories, maybe you can go ahead and click that subscribe button so you don't miss the videos I will share in the future. Okay, let's go! Before anything, I have to tell you I'm not fond of using electronic items. Let me show you why. What you see here is my mobile phone. I think these pictures are self-explanatory. I'm a clumsy person and I'm mostly on the go. So I need hard electronics. Also, I'm not interested in having the latest version of an electronic item or the biggest in size or the one with the most options as long as a hardier, smaller, older version can get the job done for me. Even this phone you see here, it's actually a Redmi Note 5, which is released initially in 2017. I bought this phone in January 2020, so it's been with me for two years. The first question when somebody says my phone is, is it still working? Well, yes, of course. There are no glitches and all features are 100% okay. And I see no reason at all to buying a new phone anytime soon. So you see, when I decided to buy a camera, I had to be very careful about my choice. So I listed down the basic aspects I will look at when making my decision. They are, it should be hardy. I mentioned that I'm clumsy, I drop things easily. Also, it should be handy. I absolutely hate carrying big electronics in my hand. I prefer something that fits my palm. And good quality is a must. A brand with a track record of maintaining quality is one way I can make up my mind on this. Also, it should definitely be waterproof as I will be carrying it near the sea and obviously into the sea. Finally, it should be easy to use. You may wonder why I didn't consider cost as a criteria. Reason, I first wanted to screen the options I have and then look at the price and see whether my selection is affordable. And if not, to work out a plan to save some cash to buy the same on a different day without settling for something that doesn't catch my heart. After talking to some diving friends who are familiar with underwater cameras, I was left with three options. First one, Olympus TG6 Stuff. Second, GoPro Hero 10. And the third one is Canon G7X Mark III. Next, I compared these three against my checklist. So let's go one by one. When it comes to hardiness, Olympus TG6 can withstand drops up to 2.1 meters and is crush proof up to 100 kg force. And these are specified by the manufacturer. However, for Hero 10 and Mark 3, I couldn't find manufacturer specified information as such. So immediately TJ6 caught my attention when it comes to hardiness. You can find manufacturer website links of these three cameras in the description. And speaking of being handy, TG6 and Mark 3 has almost similar dimensions, while Hero 10 is the smallest out of three. When it comes to quality, Olympus, GoPro and Canon are industry leaders as I know. Also Olympus and Canon have a relatively long history in the industry. So here I didn't have any concerns and I rated all three equally. Next came being waterproof. 
Mark three clearly lost it here because it is not waterproof by default. So if I'm buying it, I have to buy the underwater housing too. This is anyway understandable when taking the camera for dives, but having to have the housing on even when I'm just stepping into the sea, perhaps for snorkeling, did not appear to be very appealing. However, Hero 10 is by default 10 meters waterproof and TG6 is actually 15 meters waterproof. This was great news. I rated TG6 higher because 15 meters is reasonable depth for divers. But at this point, I understood that whatever the camera I pick out of these three, I must buy an underwater housing because my dives usually go up to 30 meters max. Even my favorite shipwreck so far, the SS conch that is in Hikado is at 21 meters depth. Finally, being easy to use. I rated Hero 10 as the easiest as I have seen many travelers, recreational divers and even kids I know using GoPros. And I rated TG6 the second easiest as the buttons and menu were similar to a Canon Nexus camera my father had about 10 years ago. Mark 3 looked a little difficult for me so I ranked it the last. But I don't know, maybe you can give me your insights on this. Frankly speaking, I didn't worry much about the features any of these cameras have because they were recommended to me by trusted friends of mine and also a little bit of research online supported the same. With this snapshot in hand, it was clear to me that the Olympus TG6 and the GoPro Hero 10 are going to be my finalists. So I moved on to my final deciding factor, that is, what am I going to capture with my camera? Some of us prefer capturing big marine animals and also diving in action. Some of us prefer capturing tiny animals and details. Also some prefer videography and so on. For me, it was things like hermit crabs, close-ups of my dog's nose, nudibranchs, mighty ants and blennies, basically super tiny stuff. So if we look at TG6, which is a point and shoot camera, and Hero 10, which is an action camera, TG6 has a feature that I couldn't find in any other camera of this range. That is, it's microscopic mode. Mm, yes, I said micro, not macro. It lets you shoot within a range of 1 cm to 30 cm in this mode and has magnification up to 4 times. And the best part is you can use this microscopic mode even underwater. How cool is that? Well, since I do not have technical knowledge about cameras, let me support this superpower of TG6 with the very first microscopic photograph I tried. Look at this little hermit crab and look at those details. This guy puts a smile on my face always. And you can even see a little chapped area of my finger. And here's a close up of this little guy and you can see that the details are still very clear. I think now you also can see who the winner was. It's definitely the TG6 and the factor that made it stand out from the rest is mainly its microscopic mode for me. And these days I'm running around with my camera capturing almost every random thing I can think of, even dust specks. And every single day I'm more convinced that I pick the best camera buddy for my stories. And guess what, I even purchased an original Olympus PT059 underwater housing so that I can take my camera up to 45 meters underwater. And all these were well within my budget. So stay tuned as I will be posting more videos about features and how to's of TG6 while working on other content. I hope you found this video useful and interesting. Please share any information you have about cameras you know and tricks and tips. As I told you, I have zero experience and knowledge in photography, so I would love to learn from you. With that being said, I'll see you with another video really soon. And uh, 
Meanwhile, you can subscribe to Ocean Stories and stay tuned. Stay safe guys. Bye-bye.